Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to import Substance Painter's materials uh, to V-Ray for 3ds Max. So let's see how it's done. Uh, first, I have here Envy model, which I model in 3ds Max and uh, ZBrush, and uh, I unwrap it, and it's now ready for exporting to Substance Painter. So let's export it. I select export selected. Let's call this Envil. I'm using the FBX file format and press save. I leave the preset as it is, as the default. Press OK. And now let's switch to Substance Painter. Here we need to press file, new. Select the model that we want, the Envil. The document resolution is uh, 4K, uh, for now it's fine, so I press OK. And now we have inside Substance Painter the Envy model. So let's see for a second um, the environment. Okay, cool. Uh, and now what we want to do, we can delete this layer and uh, let's select a uh, fill layer. And now we can choose any material that we want. Um, of course, anvil made from metal or iron. So let's uh, type metal. Substance Painter will show me um, only the metal materials. And uh, let's select one. Let's go for, uh, I don't know, steel rough. And as you can see, it already assigned to the model. Um, Sometimes you have uh, seams issues, so easy way to fix it is just go for the projection and switch the UV projection to triplanar, uh, which is very cool. Sometimes it's worked just as magic. Um, and for now, it's I think it's fine. And uh, let's say I really like this material and I want to export it to V-Ray. So let's see how it's done. I just need to press File, Export Textures. Of course, you can go with the shortcut control plus shift plus E. And now I want to, um, you can see all the, the texture that Substance will export. And I want to select a V-Ray preset. And uh, it's over here. Need to scroll down. And here it is, V-Ray. And now let's select the destination folder. It's over here. Let's go for desktop. Envil Tutorial, Textures, select this folder. Uh, I'll leave it as it is. Of course, you can change it to whatever file format that you want the texture to be. Um, let's, you know what, let's switch to JPEG for now. Press uh, Export. Let's wait for a second and cool. Of course, we can uh, open the folder. And here it is. And uh, as you can see, this is all the textures uh, from Substance. And now let's switch back to 3ds Max. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use a script that will do everything automatically for me. I don't want to do anything manual. I want it fast and, and I want it efficient as, as possible. So I'm using the Slate Material Editor. And now let's go for scripting, run script. And I will use Substance Painter to V-Ray, uh, which is very cool script. I will leave a link down in the description. It's made by uh, Hocus Pocus Studios and uh, it's very cool. Of course, it's free. And uh, as you can see, the script is look like this. And now what we need to do is just to uh, choose the folder. Let's go for desktop and build tutorial. And I just need to select the folder where our uh, texture are located and press OK. And the cool thing is the script automatically create a material for you from the maps. And now let's pr just press create. And as you can see, the script automatically create a material. Of course, it's a very material uh, and plugged all the maps in the right slots. And very important thing is when you import, for example, a, a normal map, you want it to be on a gamma, which is one. The default value is 2.2 for 3ds Max. So the script automatically uh, overwrite the gamma value over here, which is very cool. For example, it doesn't do it for the base color and reflection, for example. It's very cool. And now the thing that we need to do is just to drag and drop the material to the model like this. 
cool we can close this one and now let's just uh, bring in the Vray frame buffer press render and as you can see it's look very nice almost identical to the substance painter viewport and uh, that's it so i hope you like it please thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe by the way if you like this model of this anvil i will leave a link in down in the description and you can play with it uh, so i see you in the next tutorial bye bye